All right, snakes are hungry, so let's just jump right into this and let's feed some of these snakes. So this is an Enchi Mahogany Pied and they're all gonna be on wrap pups. And she's already got these all wrapped up the wrong way, so we'll just gonna slide her off. All right, looks good so far. And this is a fire mahogany clown. Gorgeous snake. Just got her. And I think this is the second feeding with her. So some of these uh, meals might be a little too small for some of them. Or I don't think any of them are too large. But I like to keep them all on basically uh, the wrap pups until they're very, very capable of eating uh, weaned. So this is a black pastel, uh, yellow belly, and she, and... Uh, so they are all doing fairly well. This one's already trying to eat one of them, which is awesome. I love the colorations down the body, how it goes from the really, really nice white all up into the yellows and the browns and of course who doesn't like the pie so let's put these girls back up here and we'll finish off the rest of the rats and moving right along so yeah these are basically all the same size which is perfectly okay let's see if this girl wants to eat right here so she's just about to come out of shed and i don't know if she's going to eat or not but she looks phenomenal and that is a ma massive rat. So she looks hungry. This is a red stripe, chocolate, leopard clown. Beautiful markings and I cannot wait until she sheds out. She's gonna look so much better. And we'll try to give the fattest one to her. This is an Enchi clown pied, beautiful snake. A little aggressive on the feeding, which is definitely a good thing. So these were all on lives not too long ago. So swapping them over has been uh, not too difficult. I still have two snakes that will uh, not go on the frozen thaws quite yet. And I'll show you guys those. Just to look at them. This girl right here is amazing. This is a clown. It's an orange dream fire. Whoa, little attitude on that. Beautiful colors on her. And then with that fire gene, she's just gonna stay brighter than normal. If it didn't have it, obviously the orange dream looks phenomenal. And then clown is perfect with any combo. So this girl right here, it's an Enchi Leopard orange dream uh, pied. She's eating live weans until I can get her to swap over. And then this male uh, male chocolate leopard clown should be on wean so I'm not gonna feed I'm not gonna feed that one because the meal would not be appropriate size. This girl right here should be coming out of shed very very soon. Try to get some good lighting on her. It's a Batgirl, the Batman, with a possible red stripe gene in it. But of course, red gene, or sorry, red stripe, is kind of difficult to tell unless you it's like unless it's like a serious, like bold statement. Like this one up here. You can tell that that one is uh, has red stripe if you look at the uh, other chocolate without it, you can definitely tell. But might send this one into the genetic testing for that or possibly the babies in two years after they breed but nonetheless beautiful animal and this male right here shed out not too long ago so we'll see if he is hungry it's an orange dream yellow belly and she pied phenomenal colorations and i just like the uh the solid white belly like on most pieds and a lot of pattern on this one makes it even better. So that's a male. We have the exact same genes up here. It's just that this one is a female. 
So a little bit of a different of a pattern on it, but overall the exact same jeans. And uh, I don't know, I might not put them together just because yellow belly to yellow belly is not the greatest. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. And I don't know if she's gonna eat. So I don't remember if this one ate frozen thawed last time or if this one would still prefer, that one might still prefer um, lives. So, whoop, oh, wrong one. We'll go to this girl right here. So this is a new girl. This is a leopard mahogany clown. Really, really pretty snake. And I th I don't remember. I've, I haven't had her for too long. I don't remember if this is the first feeding with Frozen Thawed. Uh, but maybe I need to get just a couple lives just in case. But she's a 2002. Definitely a phenomenal eater. She's very big. A lot of these 2022s are uh, kind of bigger than some of my 2021s. <laughs> um, just because I think Justin was pumping these up to keep if they didn't sell. So I don't think she's gonna eat, but we'll leave it in there just to make sure. Come back in a little bit and uh, see what happens. So we do have some breeding pairs in here. No locks as of now, but they've been locked up for quite a while. Butter clown and banana clown. So female pied, that's a lock. That is for sure lock right there by that piece of poop. So I don't want to really disrupt them, but that is a for sure lock. So these have been locked up a while. Like every time I put them in here, this male is definitely a good uh, one on breeding. So it's an orange dream, leopard, and she pied, which I think is really good uh, breeding. So let's go back up here. All right, we'll come up here to this vanilla spot nose clown and we'll see if he's hungry, which he should be. And checking it out. Are you hungry? There you go. Really excited for him. I really want to start adding spot nose into a lot of the clown stuff. And then having the vanilla, which is a gene enhancer, is phenomenal. So they're all going to be nice and bright, just like the fires, which is amazing. And this girl right here looks good. And I guess I'll just feed the last two to these girls. So I got two albino pieds, which I've always wanted these. Let's see if you'll eat. And now that the pricing is coming down on just about everything, they're much more affordable, which is nice. So let's see here, will she eat? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's leave that in there. So all these are coming off of live. Uh, this is the second feeding. And some of them are having some difficulties, <laughs> which is normal. I think it's okay for that. So, no. And again, they're ball pythons. So there we go. They kind of suck at eating. But we got the majority of it. Pretty well, and then this girl right here, I'll, I'll just keep on trying again with her. And I'm sure, I'm sure she'll eat. I, I, I guarantee she will have no problems. Let's go down here really fast. This is the wrong tag. Um, nothing, let's just wiggle this thing around a little bit. It's acting like it's alive. No, all right, so I guess that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that. A little updates on them. And I like doing the uh, feeding videos for you guys just because um, you guys can see the uh, the growth of them, the health of them, how they're doing. And uh, you know, a lot of these will change color. So it's definitely interesting to see what they will look like as they become adults. So uh, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in on this uh, episode. And then I have to feed all of these other ones uh, on the next video, I guess. I'm going to go through here and feed off all these 2021s. 
and talk to talk to them or talk to you guys about them breeding process and stuff like that so thank you guys and i'll see you guys on the next video